Hey guys, I'm doing a review on the Sephora Green Tea Mask. So this is the Sephora brand and this is the anti-blemish and mattifying one. The Sephora has quite a few different types and I did one on the pearl one, it was like a brightening one, and I'll put the link to that below. Um, but I wanted to try this one, so I actually got this at Sephora a long time ago, um, like months and months ago, but I'm finally doing the review, I finally used it. So these ones retail for $6 US or up here in Canada they're $8, so it is on the pricier side for a like a single youth cloth mask. But I wanted to give it a try. I do have oily skin and you know I'm always looking for a nice pick-me-up and if it really works then it would be worth it. Um, and it's not something you use every day either. Um, it's kind of yeah, a once in a few months treat in my opinion. So this one they say it's supposed to effectively absorb excess sebum, reduces the appearance of skin imperfections. Um, and then yeah, it kind of gives the a matte finish to your face and it's supposed to reduce the appearance of pores and blemishes and any like redness or raised um, blemishes. So um, I'll insert a little clip of me opening it um, while I'm talking about it. But basically you get this package and it's a very appealing package, beautiful colors. Um, and then you open at the back and then you have something like this. And you apply it to clean, dry face and leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I put it on right before I went in the bath, relaxed, watched some TV in the bathtub, and let it do its thing. So you take it out and this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it was quite liquid. There's a lot of excess liquid on the face mask, um, which I wasn't expecting. <laughs> it was dripping down better that than having it already dry when you open it so I can't fault them there now just with the other masks as well um, they are quite wide but you can fold it over and I mean it is nice it fits everyone's face um, it'd be worse again if it was too small if you have a rounder face so I put it on my face it smells interesting I think well, I personally don't like green tea, so I think it does smell like green tea. Um, I think in my mind, I was even though I knew it was green tea, I think I was thinking, oh, like tea tree, so I was expecting that nice fresh eucalyptus scent. So obviously when I smelled it, I was like, oh right, it's green tea. Um, so I put it on my face, uh, didn't notice any tingling, no anything else, and even in the bath, then it wasn't dripping down my face. It definitely was wet, but yeah, it wasn't, even if I would have been out and about, um, it would have been fine. The only thing is, I think because I had to fold the sides over, it did have a lot of excess on the edges, so if I were to wear it and try to do something, um, it probably would have fallen off, but I was laying back, so it didn't really matter. And then after about 20 minutes, or I'd probably maybe even say half an hour, I took it off, and then instead of washing your face, because you washed it already beforehand, then you just rub any of the excess um, product into your face, and then that's it. So that's what I did. Um, when it did dry, I noticed that it felt a little tacky. Um, it was at night, so then I went to bed like that, but it did feel a little bit tacky. Um, and then the next morning I woke up and my face still felt a little tacky. <laughs> um, and then I used an astringent in the morning and I actually got a lot of stuff off my face that usually when I do in the morning, I do it anyway just to give myself a completely clear face before I put makeup on, but there's usually never anything on there. It just still wipes off any excess oil if I was sweating overnight, but here I did take something off. It was a little bit off-white, my little cotton pad, so I guess that was the product because I couldn't think of anything else that it would be. Um, my face did look a little bit more matte and it seemed Oh, I guess a little more smooth and I thought it looked a little brighter but again it had kind of the matte thing. I w wasn't in the middle of any like huge breakouts anyways so I don't really know if it minimized the appearance of it but I mean for me I have a lot of acne scarring and stuff like that so obviously it didn't do anything for that. It didn't say that it would either. Um, what else does it say? So I think that yeah it absorbed any excess oil overnight. Um, 
but it wasn't lasting effects. By the next day, my skin, you know, after wearing makeup and then taking my makeup off, doing my regular cleaning routine, then the next day it was back to how it always looks. So it did look nice. I mean, maybe if I had a special event I was going to now that I had tried it. I wouldn't want to do something new before a special event, but you know, I may give it a try. But I mean, it wasn't really that big a notice. And for me, I like face masks that you also get to enjoy the experience while it's on your face, meaning it smells really good. Uh, so this didn't particularly smell good. Um, it didn't really smell like much anyways, really. So I probably wouldn't purchase it again, maybe if it were more in the $3 price range. Um, but there are so many of the Montagne Jeunesse ones which are around the same price range or cheaper. They're kind of on sale, $3.99, $4.99, $5.99. Um, and they smell so good. And they also have kind of these paper masks. So I would probably not purchase this Sephora green tea one again, um, but definitely everyone's skin is different, so what worked or didn't work for me, maybe you were able to see a complete change in your skin and it was a more of a lasting effect or it did reduce some of your pore sizes. So everyone is different, but that was just my opinion. So I hope you guys like this video and sorry for the lack of videos recently. Lots has been going on in life, but I will be doing Vlogmas, a video every day for the month of December on my vlog channel, Christy TV 300. So then you'll get to have a sneak peek into what I do on a daily basis with work and then leading up to Christmas festivities. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.